how to use Google Keep Notes like a pro. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how you can use Google Keep Notes like a pro. I will show you different tips and tricks that you might not have heard about and I will show you how you can customize your own Google Keep Notes experience here and customize your Google Keep Note. So let's start. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to your keep.google.com. How to access it? You will simply open a new tab. Go to Google Apps right here. And in Google Apps, if you scroll down, then you will find your Keep Note right here. Simply open it up. This is my Keep Notes right here. You don't need to create a new account or you don't need to sign up. You simply get your own Keep Notes with your Google account. Let me show you what are the different features and tools we're getting with keep notes so in here we have notes option where i can simply go ahead and create a new note when it comes to creating a new note you simply click right here and it allows you to create a brand new note of your own let's go ahead and create a new note now i can simply go ahead and add my note right here it can be a list reminders anything that you want to keep note of let's say that i want to keep a note of my bidding that is going to be held today so i have added this text right here now this is my note that i want to create i can simply go ahead and add a reminder it's really easy for you if you add a reminder and you can set the time here for later today tomorrow next week or you can actually go ahead and select date and time most of the people actually do not know this but you can also select a place what happens is you simply go ahead and allow the keep notes to access your location and then they will actually notify you where you have to be right now. Let's say I want to add a reminder for later today. Then I can simply go ahead and add a collaborator as well. Many people actually do not know this option. Then we can simply add a collaborator with just an email right here. If I want to add a collaborator, I can simply go ahead and add their email address. And I will be able to add a collaborator for my node right here. Of course, I will be the owner of this node right here. Then we have the color option which allows us to change different colors for our notes and it helps us to customize our keep notes and it also allows us to create a very aesthetically pleasing workspace let's go ahead and add a photo this time there you go or maybe we can just go with the color now i will simply go ahead and choose other options then we have the image option right here which allows us to add image from our computer and if you want to add any image on your notes right here, you can simply go ahead and do that. Then you can actually go ahead and archive one of your tasks if you want to. Similarly, we can pin a note from this option right here. Let's go ahead and pin this one. Then we have more options. In here, I will be able to delete the note, add label, add drawing, make a copy, show ticket boxes, and copy to Google Documents. Let's go ahead and add a label for this one. To enter a label name, what you have to do is simply type in and I'm going to add important. Let's create a new label known as important. Now this label has been added and you can see right here. And this note is actually pinned and I will be able to access it before others. This way you can simply go ahead and pin any note you want to. Then we have the reminder option in here. All of your tasks that you added to reminder will be shown in here. And then I will be able to see that which of these different notes have a reminder on. Then we have the labels right here, which is important. To added labels, I will simply click right here and create a new label. Let's go ahead and create another label known as, known as YouTube. Simply click right here. Now you can see right here, all of these labels are actually gray colored. So I will simply click right here and I will be able to add them. To delete a label, what you have to do is simply click right here on this option and it will delete. Let's click on done. And now we have all of these different labels. Then we have the archive and in here I will be able to access my archived notes. Let's say I want to archive this note right here. So I will simply click right here and this note will disappear from here. If I go to archives, then I will be able to see this note right here. To unarchive, what you have to do is simply click right here and it will unarchive your note and then it will be shown here again. And this way I can simply go ahead and add different reminders and labels that will actually help me customize my keep note experience. And it will really help me save time. Then we have the drawing option available on take notes as well. And this allows us to draw anything if you want to. 
This is really important when it comes to creating your own documents and when something involves a workflow or creative work. Let's say that I want to add a drawing or I had a document. I can simply go ahead and add different drawings to it. I can add square, dots, rules, and none. Let's go over this one. And this way now, I can simply go ahead and type in whatever I want to. Or I can actually write with Google Notes. So this allows us to write with our own hands and you actually get the feeling of writing on a paper. This is for the people who like to write on papers. To clear a page, you simply click right here and it clears your page. Then we have this option right here where we can simply go ahead and navigate. Then we have different brushes available with different colors. We can also customize the stroke of the brush. Let's go with this one. Once you're done with the drawing that you have created or you have edited your documents, then you can simply go ahead and export it as an image or you can delete it or add a new drawing as well. This way you will be able to add your drawings right here and it will be added as a document in here in your Google Notes. Then we have list view. I can simply go ahead and change the view. We have two views right now, a list view and a grid view. Then we have settings. In settings, I can enable the dark mode, send feedback, app downloads, and keyboard shortcuts as well. Let's go ahead and enable dark mode for people who like to work in dark. And this is how you can simply go ahead and use your Google Keep Notes with a lot of different features and tools. Many people actually do not know that Google Keep Note is actually a very professional platform that allows you to customize your own workspace and you can actually create very amazing notes right here with a lot of different settings. So yeah guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to tell you everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to use Google Keep Notes. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.